Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we have the new tires that I've been dying on to get here. Um, we got the new wheels ready to go on. Let's get right into it. So first off, um, when I ordered, ordered these from RC Four Wheel Drive, I didn't realize that they came in pairs. I guess I should have read the description. And I ordered four, I think it was four tires, but I got eight. So I guess whenever my fiance gets a car, because she wants a little car like mine, um, so we can do it together, she's going to just probably throw these tires on hers when she ever gets one. So I'll throw those to the side for now. Um, got the wheels ready. There's a little change of scenery for this video because my kids are downstairs watching a movie. Um, but this works, hopefully. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad for you guys. I don't know why I'm taking the body mounts off, but whatever. Uh, let's get these old wheels off and get those bead locks assembled and let's get the new tires on. So I got the tires out of the bag. Um, I've seen quite a few other videos when people have the SCX 124 crawlers. These don't weigh very much, so people just take the foams out of them and run no foam. Um, there's a bit of a difference there. Um, being that I don't have to glue these on, I can just, uh, bolt them together, as I assume I can do, I think. Um, if I need to run foam, I can easily take them back apart and put the foam in. But I'm going to try to, first off, without foam, because it should give it a little bit more, um, grip on the bottom end. Kind of like lowering your air pressure. But, here's the new tires. It's the Mud Slingers. Quite a bit difference there. I thought they'd be the same size, but quite a bit different. About, what, half an inch? I'd say a quarter of an inch. Um, oh, another thing. When I got this in the mail, I didn't order this. It came with it. I'm not sure what the sticky part's for, but um, it came with this, like, wallet tool uh, that was just in the bag, so maybe it's going to be my first time ordering from them, or just a thing they're doing recently I'm not quite sure but when I got this I was surprised I was like I didn't order that Here, I gotta use two hands but this is RC four wheel drive pretty neat little tool um shipping was fast cheap pretty cool pretty neat there's the tag for that I don't know if you guys need the tag for the tires because you can just search them their 1.0 scale tires it says new X2 S3 compound, whatever that means. I'm just happy to have different tires than the stock ones because these don't grip at all. I mean, they're not horrible, it's just they're not great. Hopefully, these do better. I might have to chop some lugs off, like people were saying. Uh, I heard that it makes a huge difference if you chop some off, so we'll see. Here, I got one completed. It is a lot of screws and pretty hard to get those in. But, yeah, I think so far it feels pretty firm without the foam. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I think I'll like it like this. That's how everybody else is saying to do it. So, get more traction that way. And that's what I'm looking for. But, yeah. Now we got four more or three more to go. Alright, there is number four. And it looks like I have two screws left over. So, I either forgot one. I forgot to, or there's extras. Okay, there's two extra screws. Um, these are freaking heavy compared to these weigh nothing. I, I just can't get over that. That's crazy how much those weigh. Um, yeah, let's get them put up there and look at that. That's freaking awesome, man. I'm excited. I. I I'm going to get these on and take this thing straight outside if the weather's nice enough. And get another video of this and crawling. Definitely going to have to do some trimming on the bodywork. Probably front and back. Yeah. Just trim up a little bit. But I'll just mark it out. And then hopefully I don't have to trim the bumper too much. It is what it is. This thing weighs like a tank though. That... Look at that. That looks crazy good. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the wheels, 
being gold. It kind of looks like lowrider wheels, but they were brass, so I can't complain. These are badass. The wheels are awesome. The tires are awesome. It, I mean, they just look awesome. I got to go test them out. But let me get some trimming done and then see what happens. I got my fiance here helping me. My amazing fiance. I was going to use a Dremel. But I'm not very good at with my hands doing that stuff. So I asked her to use it. But she said she can do it with scissors. She's already mad at me for cutting up my brand new truck. How mad are you? It is what it is. Thanks, honey. Here's the so far finished project. Um, gonna have to do some on the back, I'm sure, being that it already touches. I might be able to leave it and it just rubs. But we'll see once I start driving it. She got the front cut up. Almost went into the door, but then not that it matters. Door doesn't open. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go we'll try this out. Yeah. Alright, now I'm downstairs. So sorry if there's background noise. Um, trying to do this one handed. Nothing really to crawl here. The grass is way too steep. Yeah, the old truck would have tipped by now. That's how awesome these new wheels are. I gotta get this thing outside on the collar course. Do a little bit more trimming and. Uh oh. Whoa, Max, be careful, man. Hey. Alright, Max, say it. Thanks for watching my video. Hey, don't forget me. Thanks for watching. Ah! You're awesome.